I bought this piece of bronze uh, a little while ago with the idea of making a, a Bronze Age replica dagger. It's what have we got? About 20 centimeters by 10, 8 inches by 4. Marked it up roughly the shape I want. A piece of wood, put it on the end. This should be quite a simple project. And obviously the originals would have been cast. Um, but I can't cast. Right, that's got the angle grinding done. We've got a rough shape. Out with the bench grinder. So that's taken about 20 minutes grinding to do. I'm really surprised at how soft bronze actually is. So, let's make a handle. That's the handle pretty much done. So that sits inside there and that will be a bit more like that anyway. That will be the dagger. Bit of work to go but it's only been a couple of hours so far and it's very nearly there. Cut a slit down there, get that in there, drill a couple of holes through there, I think three holes through there. Uh, I've got a piece of brass rod and then just peen it over, bronze rod even, then just peen it over. A little bit of finishing, stain the handle. I think this is pine, I'm not certain. I picked it up of a, a house renovation up, up the road. Just a sort of nice big chunk of wood. Stain that, polish that, that's it. That'll be done. So the handle just about done. I've got a slot in there for the brass. In doing so, unfortunately, I've knocked that little chunk out the corner, which is it's really annoyed me actually. We'll just sit in there and it's come off, but that will go in with a piece of glue, I think. It's um, also pretty much where I actually wanted to put one of the rivets through. Might have to glue it up first and let that dry for a few hours. It's very nearly there. That's just held in. I'm going to glue that in place. Let that dry. Perhaps a little bit of work just to um, true things up a little bit. And then we will have a Bronze Age dagger. So, all glued and clamped. Let that dry, I think, overnight. Uh, so, after spending the evening looking at this and thinking and doodling and checking references, it's, it's still a little bit big. So, I'm just going to use a little bench grinder just to take it down a bit. I have started here, and I think the handle could do with thinning off a little bit. I've got it about the right size of my hand. Bronze Age people were quite a lot smaller than we are. So, Let's get on with a bit of that. So that, I think, is a lot better. A bit more profile on it. Handle's a bit smaller. I've slightly changed the profile on the blade just by flattening that little section there. I get happy with that. <coughs> it's not completely centred. Um, there we go. Next bit is to cut out a little uh, semicircle here and here because it's a feature of the quite often of the original knives and then we'll put the two pins through so to get the little cut out and use a dremel with one of these little flat things go in that should work nicely so that's that in its raw state a little bit of tidying up and fiddling and it's entirely even um so i should have measured it first but i didn't <coughs> i have lesson learned so i've got a piece of six mil brass rod to Make those little bits to hold it all together. Um, and I've got a drill. What I haven't got is a six mil drill bit. I'll be back in a minute. So I've got the little brass pins in place. Unfortunately, while drilling that, uh, it's not done the wood much good. <clears throat> this would might have been a bit more knacker than I thought. So, let's carry on though. Trump in those over. Fix that somehow. I've got this peening done. That's a huge crack there though. It might take some work to try and disguise that. I have secured it all with glue. The other side doesn't look too bad. It's just neaten these little bits up. So I think that's looking nice and shiny now. Right, it's a bit mucky in there still. I'm not going to bother doing anything with that. 
overall quite pleased now let's put an edge on it So let's sharpen a traditional knife the traditional way with a stone. This then is the finished article. Sharpened up, stained and so on. I'm fairly happy with the finished article. I think it might have been better if I'd used a decent piece of wood rather than one I found on a building site. But it was a bit of a spur of the moment decision to do this. I'd had this piece of bronze for about a year or so actually um, and found myself after a couple of days off that I wasn't expecting so I thought I want something to do. This is it. Reasonable size. I mean there's there's no specific, obviously there's no specific pattern for these. It's It's, it's representative of the whole design. Some of them had more studs along here, some of them didn't. You know, some of them had some nice sort of engraving on here. That would have been better, obviously, if I'd actually had a, well, been able to cast it, as opposed to just having to use a, a, a sheet of bronze. But I think, as I said, I can't cast, I've got a sheet of bronze. Some of them had end caps. You know, there's a huge variety of these things. There was also quite a bit of controversy as to about what they were actually used for. Now the Bronze Age was approximately two to three thousand years BC to about a thousand BC. There's obviously no specific uh, exact cut-off dates, but the Bronze Age was preceded by the Stone Age. What would you rather use? You know, stone hand axe, or a rather better dagger. And we keep saying daggers. Knives of this period predominantly were daggers. There's not a great deal of evidence of anything other than dagger-shaped things. There's also Obviously, in the bling stakes, you know, nice shiny metal, um, rather trumps a bit of rock. It's actually quite effective though, but this is a lot more effective. So it was thought for a long time that these were more ceremonial um, tools. A lot were found in graves, um, a lot were found in rivers as well, where they've been offered as sacrifices or sort of ritual sacrifices. So ceremonial or status symbols rather than working tools. That was turned on its head a couple of years ago. There was a study done um, when a lot of the metal was analysed properly and it was found they were actually contaminated with meat. So they were actually properly working tools and weapons as well. Until the next discovery is made, of course. But that's that's the, the working theory now. It does cut reasonably well. I haven't actually got anything I can demonstrate that with, but you know, it's a metal with a sharp edge on it, so it cuts reasonably well. And that is my replica of a Bronze Age dagger.